Inside Pro Tools, you will find that you will mainly be using two windows, the Edit window and also the Mix window. You can toggle between these windows by pressing Command equals on a Mac or Control equals on a PC. You can add tracks to your Pro Tools session by going to Track, New, and then specifying how many tracks you'd like and then the type of tracks that you would like. We will cover each of these types of tracks in much more detail in later videos. But it is important to note that when you add tracks to one window, it is reflected in the other window too. The Mix window is great for controlling volume, pan, mute, solo, record enabling, checking out your inputs and outputs, as well as adding effects. The edit window is great for viewing your audio and MIDI recordings and doing edits. Inside Pro Tools, you will find that many of the parameters are hidden so that the interface isn't cluttered. So for example, if I go up to the toolbar up here at the top, I can right click and choose to show and hide different parameters that I may need for my specific session. On the right side, I have the clips list, which I can show and hide by clicking this arrow at the bottom right corner. On the left side, you can show and hide the track list and the edit group list by clicking on this arrow on the bottom left corner. Up at the top, I can show and hide the universe window by clicking this arrow up here at the top right corner. And if I have an instrument or MIDI track in my session, then there's an arrow here that I can click to show and hide a docked MIDI editor window. There are other areas that allow you to show and hide more specific parameters too. One example of this is in the ruler view selector. Here you can select how many rulers you would like to view by simply clicking on the individual rulers. Also, whatever ruler you select will change what the main time base ruler will display. Another area where you can expand the different parameters is on the Edit Window View Selector. Here we can choose whether you want to view the comments, whether you want to see the instrument routing, the inserts, sends, your in-out settings, real-time properties, and so forth. You can also hide these different parameters by holding down Option and clicking on the top of these different parameters. You can also do that with the ruler. You should be aware of the keyboard focus areas in the edit window. The keyboard focus buttons indicate what areas of the edit window the alpha keyboard will control. The keyboard focus buttons are located in four primary areas. The main edit window, clip list, group list, and MIDI editor windows. You can toggle between the focus modes by clicking on these A to Z buttons. For now, it is best to leave the keyboard focus on the main edit window. Finally, you can navigate in the edit window using the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen to scroll horizontally. And when you have enough tracks in your project, you can use the scroll bar on the right to navigate vertically.